Whoa! Oh, Rixel! Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley, also known as Ashra Plays over on my socials. And we are back with another episode of my Mimi in Winnipeg Let's Play series. And as you could tell by the title <laughs> of the video or by the intro montage, our girl Mimi is pregnant, you guys. She is officially pregnant. And it just feels so surreal because we started off with this Let's Play series with our girl fresh out of high school in her early 20s and now she's in her 30s, happily married to her celebrity crush and is now expecting a baby. So with that being said, we have a lot of exciting things coming up for the dreamers like planning for a baby shower. But for today's episode, what we're going to do is head back to Winnenberg from their trip. Then we're going to invite over Mimi's parents to let them know about the big news. And then we'll end off the episode with Mimi and Dirk going to the hospital for Mimi's very first OBGYN appointment. All right, so let's check these buffs real quick before we start. Mimi has a flirty buff from Smooth Sailing. Mimi's love life has been pretty drama free. No breakups, no cheating. Maybe she should write a book <laughs> to help others be as successful in romance. Then she has a happy buff from Absolutely Excellent Meal. Another happy buff from Adoring Someone Nearby, K. Dirk. Another happy buff from Good Holiday from Nicely Decorated Space, from Lover's Comfort, and then we have two pregnancy buffs. The first one is a confident buff and it says, they're so happy. Mimi's partner was delighted with the news of pregnancy more than Mimi is even. It's good to know Mimi will have support. And then we have a fine buff, a child on the way. Mimi is going to have a child. It seems it will be a special and important time in Mimi's life. She feels reasonably ready for it, but not overjoyed. A little scared, a little enthused, a little everything to be honest. And it says that her second trimester is starting in two days, which I need to point out, I have pregnancy set in The Sims. I usually have this set to like three days, but specifically for Mimi, I have it set to seven days because I have a lot of things planned for Mimi to do while she's pregnant. <laughs> So I just, I want to milk out her pregnancy, you guys, like I, at least the first one. If she has more kids in the future, I'll definitely shorten the time frame, but we'll just see how everything pans out. And then we're going to check Dirk's post. And as you can see here, he's very happy. <laughs> and it says, we're having a child. What wonderful news. A child is on the way. Dirk is overjoyed. His partner is rather happy with it too. Less excited than Dirk, but still rather positive. He also has a happy buff from Absolutely Excellent Meal, from Good Holiday, from Nicely Decorated Place. He still has his happy buff from his deep tissue massage. And then he has another happy buff from Lover's Comfort for cuddling with Mimi. And so their trip will be ending pretty soon. But before the trip ends, I do want Mimi and Dirk to grab souvenirs for Darren and then for Minnie because we will be seeing her pretty soon. Okay, actually, Mimi needs to use the restroom. <laughs> Because of course she's pregnant and then her and Dirk didn't take a shower after they hunched last night so we're gonna have them do that real quickly and then they'll change. Mimi has changed and of course she's wearing her sandals and handbag that Dirk got her for love day. New personality trait. Okay so it looks like Dirk got the cheerful <laughs> trait as well. Sure. Oh you guys! Do you think he got this because he's happy about having a baby on the way? Oh, that is so adorable. He is so cute. But anyways, look at Mimi's belly. She's showing y'all. <laughs> y'all, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> like what? All right, well, while we're waiting for Dirk to get done with his shower, we're gonna pack up all of their stuff. Grab Princess's litter box and her food bowl. And then their luggage. Now we're gonna head to the square and um, grab some souvenirs. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, we need to grab the leftovers from the fridge as well. So our champagne, 
our cheesecake and then the chocolates okay it looks like we got everything why does it feel like we're actually checking out y'all <laughs> like i'm actually looking around making sure we got everything <laughs> Now we're gonna see if we can find a semi vending machine. Oh wait, I think it's over here. It is, it is. Okay, okay. We're gonna grab a few semi capsules. Oh, Dirk got a message y'all. Hey Dirk, you listening? It's your buddy at the ad agency. We've got an influencer opportunity that you're perfect for. Could you record video, any video and upload to the more views video station? Don't worry, we'll take care of the editing and we need it by 24 hours. I'm not really sure why Dirk got this and not Mimi because he doesn't really do advertising but I guess like they want his likeness for the brand so I'm guessing it might be like tech related and they want Dirk to review it. I don't know we'll see if we have time for that. I honestly don't think we do. Oh my gosh y'all look at her little belly. <laughs> huh? Nathan just texted us and said, fight until you fall, but if you fall, fall trying. All right, Nathan. <laughs> and then she got a buff from that. Oh, positive vibes. A random act of kindness goes a long way. Pass it forward. Anyways, we're going to grab a few simmies. Hopefully the vending machine doesn't get oh. stuck. Okay, great. And let's grab one more. Okay, great. Well, now it's time to head back to Windenburg, y'all. We finally made it home to their beautiful house. And I kind of want to see if we can go ahead and head to the hospital for Mimi's OBGYN appointment. I don't know. Let's let's call the hospital first and set up an appointment. And if they can get us in today, then we're going to go ahead and head over there. Okay, call obstetrician. And let's see what they say. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all! <laughs> Oh, Dirk is so adorable. Choosing the right birth method for you and your baby can be a daunting task. There are so many different options. It can be easy to get lost in the medical jargon and confused by the countless delivery practices. And I don't know which practice I want to do for Mimi. I really don't, you guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do. We still have a little ways to go before the arrival of Mimi and Dirk's first child. Like I said, I'm milking the hell out of her first pregnancy, you guys. Like this is such a milestone for Mimi like you guys have been wanting this since like season one so we're definitely taking our time with the process but for now we're just gonna get an ultrasound okay looks like the appointment usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour and is often done in the first trimester and again in the second trimester okay you know what let's just go ahead and get it you guys <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not Moses coming up with the second option. No, we're just taking, we're just taking Dirk. Darren doesn't even know that she's pregnant yet, but once we get that ultrasound, we'll definitely be sharing the news with him. We've made it to the White Willow Memorial Hospital, and this hospital is made by Nicole Simbler. This is one of my absolute favorite builders. I will be showing one of her other builds later on in this episode, which I am super excited about sharing. So there are three stories. On the third story, we have like a conference room and main office, some beds in here. But what I love about this hospital is how open it is. So here's what the second floor looks like. And again, I am just obsessed with how realistic this hospital looks. Like, I'm just shocked. It looks like an actual legit hospital. Like, hello? And then look at this. A little baby nursery. Are you serious? Again, lots of open space. I love the view from the second floor to the lobby on the first floor. Like, what? There's even like a cafeteria area. And then of course, here's like the reception area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Mimi come to this room right here. Oh, ultrasound preference. Okay, let's click on that. This is my first time using this mod, you guys. <laughs> so I'm very excited about playing with this mod alongside with you guys. So it says here, ultrasound preference. Would you like to find out about the gender of your baby? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and find out because I just, I'm very excited to know. You guys won't find out until they have their baby shower. <laughs> That's when you guys will find out. So I'm gonna say yes. Franj Milshaba. Swibib. Humfra. Oh, Schmezel. Calgaloo. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, me new. Uh -huh. 
Watanabe scances. Domi Bayen. Yo. Are you see? I have to pause it. I have to pause it. I'm about to cry. This can't be real. <laughs> no way. No way. Holy no, maybe. To me. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> a lot of. Oh. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> this mod is Nelson so cute. Nelson. And y'all, the Nelson. animations are like amazing. <laughs> oh, souffle. <laughs> <gasps> Is she having twins? Hold on. Okay, you guys, I think she's just having one kid. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. I was so worried that she was going to have twins, y'all. Because I didn't know that from the fertility massage, that increases the possibility of your sims having twins. I did not know that. I thought it just made your sims very fertile. <laughs> okay, let's read this pop-up here. Congratulations, you're pregnant based on the ultrasound scan. It looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I know what the gender is, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, me new. Chalky. Venusa. Hmm. Looks like she got a buff from that. Mm -hmm. Already in love. <laughs> Dirk is kicking me out. <laughs> he is so excited. Okay, it says here, already in love. Mimi can sometimes feel her baby kicking around her belly, but it's another thing. Hi, and you just got pregnant like this morning, but okay. <laughs> but it's another thing to finally see them on a screen. Mimi is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. <laughs> I'm actually tearing up. Oh, we got an ultrasound. We'll definitely be showing her parents that once they come over. Well, it looks like we're done with our appointment, y'all. I think that's all we need to do. But let me just make sure. See if I can talk to the doctor. No, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. Can we give Dirk a hug? Y'all, I'm just so excited. Hug lovingly. Aww. <laughs> oh, Bellino. Zarzub. Obila Snave. Kunche. Zimba Bifna. Simze. Jab Grau. All right, you guys. Well, we're done at the hospital and it's 1 p.m. So we're going to head back to their house and then we're going to have Mimi's parents come over now. All right, we made it back home. I'm going to go ahead and have Mimi's parents come over and we're going to be using the new feature that comes with growing together, which is host to stay over. I wonder if we can have LJ come too. Oh, I don't think we can. I'll just spawn him over because LJ is old too now. He doesn't have much longer either. So I definitely want to see LJ before he passes. So we're going to have him come over, but we're going to go ahead and have them come over now. And we're just going to do one night. They're just going to be staying until Sunday because I plan for Mimi and Dirk to head to San Marcino on Monday. And you guys, the stay over feature is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> He's so happy, y'all. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> There's the mont, y'all. Oh, <gasps> y'all, look at Minnie in her little backpack. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I changed the swatches to fit more of their personal preference, and so we're gonna have Lamont and Janet stay in here. We'll need to um blow up the air mattress that we're gonna have in here. So we'll just put their luggage there. And then as for Mimi and Minnie, they're actually gonna have like a mini sleepover in the den area. And we're gonna put two sleeping bags in here for them. So we'll just put her backpack right here. I do plan on expanding on the house so that <laughs> we can have a proper guest room for them because this will be the nursery. But for the time being, this is just gonna have to do for now. I'm gonna put away the cheesecake the chocolate and the champagne from the trip. 
And we have a bunch of laundry to do. I'm gonna unpack their bags too. And then unpack Princess's stuff. This feels so realistic, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we got a Yamachan semi and then we got a Princess Cordelia semi. So I'm gonna give Darren the Yamachan semi and then we're gonna give Minnie the Princess Cordelia semi. Oh, welcome Minnie. Okay, let's do that first. Boyd, Finam. Don't know why Lamont's stressed right now. Karanizi. Hello? Oh Darren. Okay, let's give him the Yamachan semi. You think they could tell that she has a little baby bump? Uh-huh. Just up. Does she like it? Here he is. <laughs> okay, let's see if Oh, I think they already gave the gift. Oh. Let's see if it's in his inventory. Oh, it is. They yeah. missed it. <laughs> Not him trying to get a glass of champagne. I'm so weak. What's Dirk doing? Is he trying to watch TV? He wants to watch TV so bad. Oh, he did enjoy it. Okay, giving spirit from giving a gift successfully. It looks like they're getting hungry, which is perfect because I want Mimi and Dirk to take their parents out to lunch and tell them the big news. So I completely forgot I was supposed to spawn LJ here. <laughs> but he's here now. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how old he is now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so cute. No. All right, so Mimi and Dirk are changed. <laughs> and Dirk is just reassuring her about telling their parents about their pregnancy, even though it's it's very clear <laughs> that Mimi's showing, but we're just gonna act like she's not showing right now. <laughs> they do have the ultrasound scan ready to show them. And we're gonna go ahead and head over to the restaurant now. We've made it to the restaurant, and this is the El Arbol Fusion Restaurant by, again, Nicole Simbler. And this restaurant just opened in downtown Windenburg. I literally have all of Nicole's lots in my game. <laughs> Her build style has to be one of my absolute favorites. And you guys know I love dining out with my Sims, and so I requested a restaurant, and you guys, Nicole ate. She ate, like, this restaurant has to be, like, my favorite now. It is so good so here's what the restaurant looks like and marcus flex is the host <laughs> and look at the back patio so gorgeous and then there's like a nice little bar area back here too but yeah i'm obsessed with this restaurant y'all it is definitely one of my favorites y'all darren got an attractiveness alert and he got it for eleanor sullivan who is the sim right here and you know what She's actually really cute. <laughs> She's actually really, really cute, yo. I think she might be a pre-made townie that came with growing together. I'm not sure if she's married or not. Should we? <laughs> Y'all were talking about getting Darren a little boot thing and he got him an attractiveness alert. So I might have him introduce himself real quickly. <laughs> we're just gonna do a friendly introduction. And while he's doing that, we're gonna have Mimi request this table for everybody. Uh, freaky yibs, freaky yibs. Oh, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Darren, at least get her number. Dang, can we not ask for her number yet? Bon and Gravy? <gasps> Y'all, Eleanor's oh, single. Oh. Boombraza? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yo, it looks like they have a funny first impression. Okay, he's heading in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and order for the table. And then we'll share the news with her parents. And because Mimi is pregnant, she's not gonna be able to drink her River Blossom. But that's fine. We're gonna get her lemonade and then Minnie's gonna get lemonade as well. And because the pros and pop is on the chef's choice, I think we're gonna get that for maybe lamont can get that we're gonna get the monte vista for janet 
And then the soft shadow of Renalino for Dirk. And then we'll get a juice on the rocks for Darren. We're gonna get the chimichurri skewers for Minnie. The herb crusted salmon for Mimi and her mom. The asado for Darren and Lamont. And I think Dirk would be bougie and get the sizzled brisket. I, I feel like he would do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, you guys, look. <laughs> what did I tell y'all? What did I say about Darren and Dirk? Okay, so it says here that they gain the jokesters dynamic, and we're going to allow it. We're going to say yes. Okay, you guys, I think we're going to tell... Janet the news first. Oh, it is so noisy. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, look at Minnie. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Not her drawing on the placemat, it's honestly, she is so cute. Oh, her food's already here! I forgot to set um, Mimi's preferences back to fork, so now she's eating her salmon with chopsticks. Same with Dirk. <laughs> it's okay though. Oh, there goes Lamont. He must have went to like the restroom or something. You know the food good when everybody's quiet. <laughs> Hello? Dirk, please say no. Dirk! There's no way he came over here. Like, thank you. Please go away. Okay, we're gonna tell her dad. Oh, Garza! <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna tell Darren. Hello? Y'all, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Mimi's attracted to Darren. Oh my god. Okay, girl, tell him about your pregnancy, please, and and leave it at that. I don't know why everybody keeps getting up. Like, it's it's very annoying. And I'm pretty sure the Sims team is supposed to fix that problem. And of course they didn't. Oh, a bright. A bright. Sharky. Judge. Yo, Thorn's here. Wait a minute. And of course, Octavia's here. Oh my god. <laughs> We're leaving, y'all. Oh, I got so scared, y'all. I thought he was about to come over here and talk to Octavia. He wouldn't walk by Thorn and Octavia and not speak. But it's 10 o'clock at night. We're heading home. <laughs> we are heading home. Okay, let's have Dirk um, in the mill and pay the bill. I don't even know how much this is. Oh, 169? That's not bad at all. Oh, you guys, look! Darren got a happy buff from Mimi telling him about her pregnancy. Congratulations, Darren is thrilled to hear the news and is ready to help prepare for the arrival of the baby. He can't wait to meet and spoil the little one. Oh my gosh, y'all, Darren's gonna be a granddad. <laughs> okay, let's check his needs. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay, we're gonna have him head to bed. And then we have the blow-up mattress set for Janet and Lamont. Oh, they're so cute. We're gonna have Mimi make popcorn for her and Minnie. Buttered popcorn, kettle corn, cheddar, or caramel corn. Let's do caramel corn. Let's do something sweet. Okay, we're gonna pick up a serving. I thought we've been able to call Minnie to grab a serving too, but I guess not. Not a disappointing drink. Oh, brother. I forgot. These sofas literally engulf your pet. <laughs> He's still cute, though. Is he going to sleep? He is. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, this is so cute. Mini one. The girl. <laughs> Not her admiring her newer position. I'm so weak. You know, let me have her um pick up LJ. She got a playful buff from that. Pummeled by pillows. Made me put up a good fight, but couldn't pull off a win. She took it like a champ and is ready for more. Oh, <laughs> Elephany Bahano. <laughs> Yumbala to ring <laughs> Oh, Dirk went to bed, Joel. <laughs> I had him watching TV, but I guess he was too tired. Girl, you could have ate some popcorn. Oh, Not Princess sitting right oh. here, y'all. Oh, she's definitely mad. She's definitely mad. Okay, now we have to show Princess some. Uh, what's wrong? <laughs> she's jealous. That's what's wrong. Oh, <laughs> she says it's my turn now. Chamagra Gorsoy. Gungane Barovi. Y'all, it's two o'clock in the morning. We're gonna watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that pops up with Wicked Whims. Anyways, we're gonna watch a movie with Minnie. And we're gonna watch Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. Uh. Is Minnie coming to watch the movie? Yeah. Oh, here she is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh they're so adorable. What time is it? Y'all, it's 3 30 in the morning. Way past Minnie's bedtime. Well, now that the movie's over, I'm gonna have her. Um... Oh no! I can't tell Minnie to go to bed. Dang. Okay, I guess she's just gonna have to do her own thing. Is she coming in here to eat again? This girl has quite the appetite. I don't know, do kids do kids have appetites like this? This is homegirl's like third meal tonight. What's she doing now? Is she going upstairs? Fingers crossed she actually uses the sleeping bag, y'all. Sims aren't that smart, but like, I really need this to come in clutch because it would be so adorable if they slept in their sleeping bags together. Oh, she's gonna clean instead. Okay. Okay, looks like it's prank day, but I don't care for that. <laughs> now look at Darren. And look at the Howards. And then look at Derek. Dirk's in here by himself. Y'all, Minnie is still up. She never went to bed. Um, can she watch this? <gasps> Minnie! Yeah. <laughs> you know you're wrong for that girl. Okay, looks like Dirk and Darren are up. We'll have Dirk take a shower and then Darren will use the restroom. Oh, let me get Mimi up. I forgot she's pregnant, y'all. <laughs> so her bladder isn't the best. Okay, we're gonna have Mimi cook breakfast for everybody and we're gonna use her new KitchenAid mixer. And it looks like we have enough ingredients to make fruit muffins, so we're gonna do that. Okay, it looks like Mimi finally got something from the ad agency. The Up and Out lifestyle retailer is launching a new advertising campaign and they love to associate their brand with Mimi. Speaking of which, we do need to edit her pack with me video that she filmed before heading to Malcolm Revy. So I think we're going to do that for today. And then as for Dirk, he's just going to relax and hang out with the family. Oh, they look good, y'all. Period, Mimi. Okay, let's call everyone to eat. Bro, loose gear guy. Okay, they grabbed muffins, but for some reason, they just don't want to sit at a table. Of course they don't. Girl, we are not doing that. Dirk's getting a text. Oh, it's from Kendrick. Let's go to the flea market. 
Kendrick. We won't be able to do that today. I'm sorry. But it looks like Kendrick might be in Say My Shuno, y'all. Which is perfect because, like I said earlier, Dirk and Mimi are heading to Say My Shuno tomorrow so that Dirk can work in the headquarters office at Rainy Day Entertainment. And I can't wait for you guys to come along with him to work. But while they're in Say My Shuno, I will definitely have him hang out with Kendrick since he's in the city too. It looks like Mimi's cleaning up. After she's done cleaning up, we're gonna have her edit that video. So I have Dirk and Lamont shooting basketball together just so that they can bond a little bit more since <laughs> this is Dirk's father-in-law. But I forgot that Dirk does not like fitness, which I might need to get rid of because why do we have this whole ass basketball court if he's just gonna be tense every time he uses it? Yeah, we're, we're definitely getting rid of that. <laughs> Spino? Yeah, fruit. Oh, snurb. Yeah. Oh! Whoop, whoop, ha! Ah, flesh! Hana! Dump us out. Oh, he made it! <laughs> He's so. Uh huh. Whoa! He's such a show off. Oh, he made it though. Uh huh. Okay, Mimi's editing her video and uploading it. And it looks like she's craving sweet food right now because of her pregnancy. Oh, Mimi. Let me check her needs. Her needs are pretty good. I might grab another um, fruit muffin for her. Mimi, that footage is ace. Our editors are already recutting it to meet the needs of the client, but don't worry. I know they're going to love it. Keep your phone handy. We'll ring you with another opportunity soon. Oh, it looks like Dirk lost the game, y'all. <laughs> Court loss. From losing competition, it's tough losing a basketball game that close. Oh, It looks like Darren's watching the weather forecast. <laughs> he is so adorable. It looks like he's gonna Tonsky talk to Dirk. Mimi is done uploading her video, but I want to sh quickly show you guys her Polaroid wall because I did update it. So as you can see here, I put some pictures from our Mount Kamurabi trip. I put Dirk's birthday cake here and then this fine ass picture of him. <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely have to scoot up the Polaroid pictures so that we'll make some more space down here. But these are officially the first Polaroids of the season. Y'all. There's no way. There's no way. Hey, Mimi, it's me, Moses. Love is in the air, don't you think? We should take this opportunity to go on a date. You know what? Next episode... <laughs> Next episode is about to be so messy. It's about to be so messy because we're literally heading to the headquarters office in San Marcino. If you don't know, Moses will be there. Like all of Dirk's employees will be at the San Marcino office on Monday. So Mimi's screenshotting that message and she's definitely showing Dirk, y'all. She's definitely showing him because Moses knows that she's married to Dirk. Like he has to know. And at this point, he's just being messy. I can't wait to see Moses next episode. <laughs> It's gonna be so messy. Oh, that's okay. Maybe another time. No, maybe never. She's pregnant too. Y'all, Moses is so trifling. Okay, I think her parents should be heading home. Yeah, they should be heading home now. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> dag dag. <laughs> Hello. Lamont, it's time for you to go. How do we get? How do we get Lamont to leave, y'all? Oh, y'all look at Darren. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, Benazza. Oh, gift of me. Oh, she's saying bye to her dad. <laughs> Here, I think Lamont's leaving now. Oh, she's gonna toss the talk to Dirk. Corbiff, Dobby Woo, Plo Knight's Guma. Y'all, Mimi in her little past flings. Nathan just texted her and said, did you see that rookie who is starting for the llamas now? I think he could take the team all the way this year. All right, Nathan. Nathan, I'm gonna need you to get some more friends. <laughs> okay, so I think Mimi's family went home, but they did leave their luggage here. So <laughs> there's that. 
but I think this is going to be the perfect place to stop this episode on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I did, especially the ultrasound appointment. That was very exciting and I still can't believe Mimi's pregnant, you guys. <laughs> I still can't believe it. But we do have a lot more exciting things planned for Mimi's pregnancy in the future episodes, so please stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I'd very much appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my Mimi in Winnenberg Let's Play series. And I'll see you guys in my next video.